Hello there. How much is giving a part of your life? Maybe it's already a part of your life. It's something you think about, something you do. Or maybe you're just beginning to think about it now. We tend to think about giving as in just doing things for people or giving them money or something. But we don't think on the deeper level of exactly what giving does for us in terms of our personal development and for the world in general. You know, when you get into a practice of giving, what you're doing is you're learning to think about other people. You're thinking about their needs, you're thinking about them and what would be helpful for them particularly. And so you're increasing your skills for empathy. And by increasing your skills for empathy, it means you can connect much better with people in general and you have much better relationships. Another part of giving that's helpful for us in, as individuals is that it raises our vibration. You know, they say, give without expecting anything back. And absolutely, completely agree. But we do get something back when we think about it. We get back the feeling of, you know, feeling good about ourselves, that we've done something good, that we've thought about our fellow human being. And that raises our vibration. It makes us feel good about ourselves. And, and that's OK. Why, why wouldn't we want to do that? So it's very helpful, actually, if you're ever in a, a feeling of being stuck or you're feeling a bit low to consider giving. It could be time, energy. It could be giving your um, some money. It could be you know, help. It could be on a grand scale, a small scale doing some charity work, that type of giving can really boost your confidence and boost your happiness, raise your vibration and help you get back on track if you've been feeling a bit low and a bit stuck. The thing is with giving is that it tends to have a ripple effect. Something even as simple as smiling at somebody as you pass by on the street will have a ripple effect because it'll raise their vibration and they will go on and do something positive for somebody else in their life. It may be smiling at somebody else. It may be saying something loving. It may be a gesture, an action of, of kindness. And so it becomes a ripple effect. So your one act of giving, no matter how small, actually can have a ripple effect of love. And of course, there's a ripple effect of resources. When you resource somebody, that is, when you do something practical, something, give them something that empowers them in some way, whether that's an actual thing, a material thing, or you give them time and space and energy, it actually resources them. It gives them that, that they then have the, the ability to go and help others, whereas before they may not have had the the bandwidth or the energy or the time or the money or whatever it was to actually go and help others by you helping them, resourcing them, they can then go and resource other people. And so again, we get this ripple effect that goes through an entire community and out into the world. Another great way to look at giving is the universal law of reciprocity. What does that mean? It means what we give, we get back. If you're interested in law of attraction, if you've noticed that what you tend to put out into the world tends to come back to you, well, giving is obviously a very good idea. In fact, in my experience over the years as a therapist and in my own life, I found that what I give tends to come back many times over. And of course, giving is very much a personal thing very much down to you how you want to give who you want to give to it's very much your choice there are no rules about giving at all sometimes my clients tell me that they would like to get into a a way of being of contribution in their life because they recognize how powerful and how magical it can be but they're not quite clear who do they want to give to and how do they want to give Maybe, you know, they can give in when things just happen to come along and they can be kind and generous. And that's a wonderful thing. But they'd like to actually intentionally start a practice of giving. They just don't quite know who or how 
or when or where. One thing that could be really useful if you want to start a practice of giving in your life and you're a little bit unclear is to get clear on your values. When you get clear on your values, it gives you some clarity then to decide, well, if I value this or I value that, that gives me an idea of what would bring me most joy to give. So for example, if you if you value connection, you might want to spend time helping people in a charity who visit vulnerable people or run groups for vulnerable people, getting them together so that they have that connection. To get clear on your values, I've actually provided a downloadable PDF for you just below this video, which you can um, download, you can work through, and that will help you get clear on your values. And then you can start thinking about how can I then take these values and actually apply that to a practice in my life of giving? And before I finish this video, I do just want to share with you about an organization that I give to. And actually, I'll tell you about it and how that fits in with the concept of values. I couldn't finish this video and not tell you about them because I love them so much. And that organization is called Lend With Care. And Lend With Care actually help people in developing countries who have a small business. It could be that they run a farm or they have a, a, a little shop or perhaps they uh, make clothes or something. And they need a helping hand to take their business up to the next level because at this point they're producing something, selling it, and then they have to produce more and sell. So they never quite get up to that next level. When you lend them some money, like a business loan, they're able to buy more goods or buy the equipment that they need to bring their, their business up to the next level. And that way you're helping them expand. And the very fact that they then pay that money back in increments, that's what works for me with my value because I'm a great believer in helping people to help themselves and empowering people to feel confident that they can help themselves. So I hope that this video has given you some thoughts about giving, contribution, and the power it can have in our lives for ourselves as individual on a psychological and emotional level, for our community, from the point of view of abundance and attracting things back to us, and from the point of view of helping our whole world expand. So I encourage you to really think about a practice of helping and giving, whether that's a very small amount, whether it's a very small gesture or something bigger. If you've liked this video, please do. Click on the thumbs up button, because in that way it will reach more people and help more people. So you are giving by helping me help more people. And do hit the subscribe button. I'd love to hear your comments on this, so please do leave your comments as well. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye for now.